so today I have a super super exciting video. I've honestly been looking so forward to filming this all week. As you guys know I've been away from home and I got a message that a big box had arrived through the post and that it was from America. So this massive box appeared. Um, I knew that this box was coming but I definitely wasn't expecting it to be of this kind of a size. Last year when I did my Halloween card swap, which I promise I still have all the footage from the rest of the cards I was sent and I am in the process of editing them, I'm thinking I'm going to put it up a little bit closer to Halloween as like a thank you to everyone who did send me cards last year but I got a card from a lady called Kristen and I had been talking to her after I got the card just to thank her because she also sent me a scarf and some stickers and things with it so I said thank you to her and she said that she'd got me some scrapbooky kind of stuff so she wanted to send it and then life kind of got in the way and she contacted me like a couple of weeks ago to say that she had moved house etc and that she was finally ready to send me the stuff so I was expecting like an envelope with some paper in um, and this massive box appeared so I just thought I have to open this on camera. I have no idea what's in here but on the like little declaration form because you have to like write a declaration of what's inside it says that there's plastic cups, Halloween decor pieces and scrapbook supplies so it sounds like it's going to be amazing. This is totally reminding me of my Halloween swap boxes. Um, I'm so excited because this year I'm going to do another one with my friend in America. She was the original person I did a Halloween swap box with and I think this must be our fourth maybe fifth year of doing it um together so i'm really really looking forward to that and this is definitely getting me in that kind of excited vibes so i don't want to show you the front of the box just because it has Kristen's address all over it but basically it's painted black and there's a little black cat sticker i've just opened it up and i can see loads of like decoration stuff so i'm gonna bring you down to the box so on this side there is like washi tape um, and it says like nevermore, there's like a witch's hat, it says the witch is in, um, some roses stickers um, and then like this looks like a crow with like music things in the background. I'm definitely going to be like peeling these off um, to use within my scrapbook and possibly I could use some of this stuff within my doll's house. And then on this side there's more um, washi tape that says boo wicked 31st um, and there's like little skeletons and things and then we've got like a little bat and a moon, creepy, a cat, a really cute little bat sticker um, and then and over here we have the cutest little um, ghosty and a really happy pumpkin. And these stickers look like you could actually colour them in. They almost look like colour them in stickers. So I'm unsure how I should open this because I think I'm going to kind of do it blind box style. So I'm just going to open... Oh, there's more decorations on the other bits. I should have figured that out. Double double toil and trouble tape, um, a spider web and then like a Victorian looking lady with a... Um, potion bottle and I'm just going to twist the box around. Um, there is some washi tape that says bone chilling, spine tingling, skeleton dance to a death do us part spooky um, and then there's this kind of like mirrored skeleton. I love this and definitely I've been highly considering getting like a dancing skeleton tattoo um, and I just realized there's some like, little dancing skeletons up here. For some reason I'm just recently really excited by dancing skeletons and then there's this like little envelope that says open so I'm not sure if it will come off. Okay, I'm so, so excited about this. Before I open it, it does say open there. Uh, can we just admire the little wax stamp? There is one thing that I've wanted for literally five years. My other half works with like metal. He's the person that made like my coffin necklace. So um, he's very capable of like making metal things. And one thing that I've really wanted forever is like a wax stamp. He has promised that one day he will get around to making me one. Um, but honestly, for five years, I just wanted to be able to seal my envelopes like this. Within the wax, there's this kind of like three headed dragon kind of thing going on and then it says open is it wrong of me to want to open it from the other side so that i don't ruin the wax stamp i know that's kind of the point but it's just too cute guys look at this letter this is so cute so it says some of the items decorating the box are stuck on with repositionable tape so you can reuse them however some of them are stickers and may be harder to unstick and then it's signed by Kristen this is really cute because I actually got a letter from Lily Divine Light um, earlier in the week and she had kind of done this like burnt effect as well um, I do keep all the letters that I'm sent like in a 
in a separate box um, just because I love looking through them so I'm going to keep this nice and safe I'm actually just going to put it back in the envelope so that I can add it to my lovely collection of letters okay so on top there is loads of like this white paper so I'm just going to like feel around I'm not sure if stuff is like wrapped in it um, but as I said I kind of want it to be like a blind unboxing I feel like I'm just pulling out loads of these white things okay I'm going to have a look oh, oh my god there's something in there there's a cute little cauldron sticker so I'm gonna take a really quick look okay it looks like everything is wrapped up so we're back in business so I'm just gonna take off this top tissue paper there's quite a lot of it um, hopefully everything inside will be super safe now there's a sparkly bat and a sparkly spider where can I put all of these to make sure that I don't lose them I'm gonna make a little pile on like the other side of the box Oh, look at this. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. I like, I don't want to open it. I don't want to ruin it. If this is a letter, this is like the coolest letter I have ever got. Uh, so it's this really cool like aged looking paper. It has this really cute, oh, it's got pumpkin on it. Really cute like pumpkin-y um, ribbon. And then there is the little stamp in the middle and another wax stamp. I have to find out where this lady gets her wax stamps from. I think the safest way is going to have to be to cut this ribbon, which is really sad because I love the ribbon, but I'm gonna cut like just above the pumpkin so that I can save him. We're in. Oh my goodness, <gasps> look how cool that is. This is literally the coolest letter I have ever received. I've actually like got a tear in my eye from reading this letter. Um, I, I don't wanna read it on camera just cause it's like super, super personal. But this is honestly one of like the most heartfelt letters that I have ever read. So, uh, I don't really know what to say like uh thank you for your really kind words and, and it makes me so like happy that we have this big spooky family here on youtube oh my god i'm trying not to cry <laughs> um but yeah thank you very much for this i stand by the fact this is one of the most gorgeously presented letters i have ever seen Ooh. only 10 minutes into the video and i'm already crying oh so there's some more glittery things like a little glittery skull um and i found a tiny little spider confetti which is actually very different to any of the spider confetti which I already have so I will also be saving that okay it feels like this bit of paper has something in it so I'm just gonna open it up Ooh, okay <gasps> yes Halloween stationery <sighs> so ages and ages ago I got some pumpkin rubbers like this and they're like my favorite thing but um I'm kind of running low because whenever I see someone spooky, I'm like, have a spooky rubber. Um, so I'm so happy to have some more. And there's loads of different designs in here. And then there's also, are these post-it notes? Oh, they're little like notebooks. Oh my God, how cute are these? You guys know I love my stationery. So there's a little pumpkin notebook and it's all like white paper inside. <gasps> a little black cat with green eyes. Um, a skull and crossbones, look how cute he is and a little spooky owl and then there's lots of different rubbers they kind of i think they actually match almost like they match the little notebook so there's a little skull and crossbones well there's three skull and crossbones a couple of witches hats there's some pumpkins and last but definitely not least some cute little bats absolutely love stationery i'm not sure if it's um partly due to like my profession working with children but i find like cute little stationery like this so fun um and i'll definitely be putting it in my backpack to take to uni with me and then there was some more stuff in this paper they feel like pencils <gasps> oh my goodness <laughs> look I definitely am gonna be stocked up for spooky pencils. I think I had like one of these pencils from maybe another Halloween box that I got somewhere, but now I have so many pencils to choose from. So we have some little bats, um, like witches with like black cats and owls, um, a little spider web one with spiders on, skulls and bones and things. I really love this one. <gasps> oh my goodness dancing skeletons 
Look at these ghosties. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. I almost don't want to use them because they're just too adorable. I've got another spiderweb one. Um, a orange one with owls on. Yay, a black cat one. Another black cat one in the middle. Oh, and another black cat one on the end. And then some little bats. I am so excited. My pencil case when I go back to uni is gonna just look so spooky. A little glittery skull. Okay, this guy is staring at me, so I've gotta take him out. I can just see this little ghost, and I think, oh my goodness, he, I think he's wrapped around candy corns. <sighs> the time has come. Halloween is in the air for, I have my first bag of candy corns. Look, it has a little ghosty on the front. This guy was just looking at me like, Take me out the box. Um, so I'm gonna pull him out and save him. Oh, look, this is so cute. We had like some Halloween stationery and like home scents last year. Um, and they must, I feel like this must be from the same sort of a, a set because look, it's like a ghost. Look at the bottom, that is so cute. And it says last minute edition just came out this season. Enjoy. <gasps> ah, guys. I need to halt this unboxing so that I can open this and have my first legitimate candy corn of 2018 because I have been snacking throughout the year on them but they've been like last year's stock. <sighs> mm. It tastes like laying in a pile of leaves with pumpkins around me and skeletons dancing. In case any of you guys who don't live in the UK didn't realise, we don't get candy corn in the UK. Um, Kitty's Boutique and I think October 31st do sell them um, but you can't like get them on demand it's quite tricky to get hold of them okay so next up go for this I can see something like in a box this is so exciting <gasps> Ooh, sprinkles <gasps> oh my goodness are these like sugar sprinkles or are these like what are these well it says calories on the back so I think these must be like for bitting on like cakes and something. I need to open them right now. <gasps> I need to have a hot chocolate in a minute and I need to put squirty cream on and I need to put these little sprinkles all over them before I like start showing you. They're in like little test tubes. These are super cute and you could probably like, oh, I could use it in my doll's house afterwards. It could be like a, like a massive, um, it could be a fish tank. But I was thinking like a, a dome, like a glass dome. Okay, so like tiny little ghost sprinkles. So I think you like sprinkle these on cakes or as I said, on hot chocolate. Pumpkin ones, look how detailed they are. The ones we get in the UK are rubbish compared to these. These are like little spooders in black and purple. And then we've got loads of these like spooky, toxic looking green circle ones as well, which you could kind of paint and make them into eyeballs if you wanted to. I am actually so looking forward to having the spookiest drink later now. I just removed this piece of paper and it's revealed a this. I'm not sure what it is. Um, oh my god, I think it may be a pen. I thought maybe you like put this in your drink like so that it sticks out like... Uh, if any of you have seen my like spooky pina colada tattoo that I have on the back of my leg here. I hope I didn't just flash you. Um, I've got this like ghost sticking out on a stick and I thought maybe it was one of those but now I'm thinking maybe it's a pen. So it's like this black bat on the bottom and if I pull this off it reveals a pen. Look how cute that is and sometimes these like pens with big things on the ends can be really annoying to write with because they're like super heavy but I think where this is like a like nice thin like plastic it's nice and lightweight. I'm actually so excited to go back to uni now so I can just be like sat writing in my coffin notebook with my little bat pen and everyone's gonna think I'm insane and I do not care. Okay, so there's these like things. I'm not too sure what they are, like sat, like now uncovered. So I'm gonna pull one out. Ooh, what is this? This is so cute, but I'm not sure what it is. It just says one piece Halloween. I think you put these in, do you put these in like flowers or something? Like if you have like a bouquet of flowers, there's actually, Oh my god, there's three of them. Ooh, one's got skulls on it. I've got like three of these. And like, I guess these could just be like planted in anything. Like maybe, oh, I could put them with my, um, what should I call them? Cactuses. Just realized one of my cactuses looks really dead. I should probably sort that out. Um, but they're like, they're on a wire, which is kind of bendy. And then they've got all these kind of black tassely things. Um, and then there's some like 
pumpkin confetti kind of stuff. And um, what I guess you could do if you like didn't want to stick it on anything is you could like cut off one of these and move it around because it's all on like a wire so you can move it that or maybe I could wear it as a hair piece that may look really cute. Um, <laughs> these are really cool I don't know what they're for but I think maybe you stick them in like a bunch of flowers to just make them look really spooky okay I can see something green in here and it looks like it may be a cup with a cat on it so of course I need to go inside and look oh cute so these are the plastic cups which was mentioned on the declaration form um so there's four in there they're green and they've got like little black cat on them with little bats they seem like a really nice plastic like again in the uk our plastic cups are like the worst thing they're like proper disposable so like once you use it once you kind of have to throw them away but these will be really handy and also like i'm the clumsiest person so i'm always knocking over my drink so at least i'm not going to be smashing it Next up is this. I can see something like black and green and it feels kind of like squishy, but I don't want to like squish it in case it breaks. Um, okay, it feels kind of soft. Oh my, <gasps> socks. Oh my goodness, look how cute these are. These are really nice. This has a little sticker on it saying over the knee and it's got these like cute little cat faces and they're black cats with green eyes. Oh my God, I'm so excited to put these on. And it's just started to get a little bit more chilly outside. So perfect sock weather. I also have this thing where I have to wear socks with tights. It's like a weird thing I have. So I'll be able to add this. And also I've been looking for like stripy long socks because I went to go see Hotel Transylvania, the third one, which was actually really good, highly recommended recommend it to anyone um and you know like mavis wears the stripy tights i just wanted like some stripy things on my legs so now my mavis dreams have been met with like an added black cat so obviously that's even better okay so let me have something wrapped in green and there's something peeking out what does it look like <gasps> are these gloves <gasps> Guys, look, <gasps> please, can it snow already? I wanna wear these every day. So there's like a really cute orange pair. And I'm not sure if she knew this, but I have like a black and orange, like woolly scarf and a black and orange woolly hat, but I don't have any gloves to match. And now I do. Can we just, I'm gonna put one on of each. These are so cute. And you're now gonna be able to see how small my hands are compared to the rest of my body, because usually I feel like my rings hide it. But look how cute these are. Oh my God, I could wear it like this and look really like edgy. <laughs> but the black one has little orange bats all over it, which is so cute. And then you've got the orange one and you could like paint like a little pumpkin face on there or something. These are so cute and they're super snuggly and warm. It's a little bit too warm still to be wearing gloves. So cute. Another little glittery spider in here. So I picked this up, but I can feel like something foam. What is it? <gasps> it's a bat. It's a bat. Oh, there's two of them. Three of them. Look, they're like little, well, they're not that little. They're quite big foam bats. These would be perfect to put like holes in the wings and make like a garland like this how cute are these i love things like this just because they have so much potential to like jazz them up or to like keep them simple if that makes sense and then what else was in here <gasps> this i'm so excited this is like perfect for my doll's house and also my scrapbook there are so many little like foamy things in there there's loads of pumpkins and spiders and ghosties oh my god these are so <gasps> candy corns see we can't get any like crafty candy corn themed stuff here in the uk and it looks like they're all like sticky back ones as well an owl <gasps> these are so ad Ooh, and a cat and a glittery ghost oh my god so they're like um you can peel the back off and stick them on things so i'm gonna leave them all in there just to keep them safe but i am so excited i think i'm gonna stick those on the front on my scrapbook because it is looking a little bit boring on the front Ooh. A little thing for my Halloween tree. I have some like this, but mine are not shiny. Mine are kind of matte. So this will go very nicely with my dingly bell Christmas tree Halloween decorations. Okay, what is this? This feels very strange. Oh my goodness, it's like an ice maker. Is this what it is, an ice maker? Yes, an ice tray. Look how cute these are. So you can get like little skeleton 
next my turn. You can get little spider web and spider ice cubes. These are so cute. And it's those really good ones where you can like push it out as well. They're not like super, I had like a skull one and it was like super rigid and I could never get them out. So I'm definitely gonna be filling this up as soon as I go downstairs. A glittery bat. Okay, I just picked this up and this tiny little, is it a sticker? Is it a sticker? Well, this little spider thing fell out. So I'm not sure if that's to do with what's in here. Oh my god, I can see a pumpkin from this side. Oh, look! They're like those wooden things that you can like decorate. The Oh my goodness, these are so cute. So there's this one, which is like a cat, and it says spooky underneath. I love this. Like... I could wear this as a necklace, surely. Surely I can wear this as a necklace. Uh, a little ghosty. I love this design. It's like a bat with like spider webs going through it. And then another one of the bats, but like with a moon. And then finally a little pumpkin. And these are really thick. Like, again, you can get this kind of thing in the UK. Like obviously not that detailed and they're always really thin. And like also I think, I think most of them actually, I'll be able to like drill a little hole through them and then I can hang them around like as little hanging ornaments. Oh, I can make like a wind chime, like a wooden wind chime. I don't know if that would work. So I've been eyeing this up and I'm just gonna have to look at it. Something fell on me. <laughs> a little spider confetti. Okay, so I need to sit cross-legged for this. These look, this is all I could see. It looks like it's gonna be stickers and there is like a proper wad of them. Oh my. <gasps> These are so cool. I'm gonna like cry. <laughs> it's a dancing skeleton. Okay, I need to show you. These are all like 3D stickers. Um, there's a spooky one. There's like a ghost that says party time. Look at these little pumpkin guys. Um, there are some, oh my goodness, look at the cat one. These are so cute. Um, and then there's this one, you've got like a waving dancing skeleton, a boo, a cat, the ghost. Look at the haunted, oh, the haunted house. Um, and it says spooky time and the little ghost does, that ghost looks very cheeky. <gasps> these are adorable. Look at these guys. Oh, they're so cute. With a little ghost. I'm gonna need to like, my laptop is covered in these kind of stickers. So I'm gonna need to have like a revamp and put some of these. <gasps> I was gonna say put some of these on. I just got like shook by how cute these were. <gasps> Look, they're like glittery pumpkins with bats. Oh, I love these so much. I'm gonna have to like stick some of these in my doll's house. Like I'm gonna have to find somewhere to stick these. Whoa, these are cool. Chalkboard. That is so cool. They're like black stickers. I think they're stickers, are they? Yes, yeah, sticker labels. And they're like chalkboards. Oh, and there's cat ones as well. I thought they were all pumpkins. So there's like pumpkins and then cats at the bottom. These are so cool. I wanna try these out. Washi stickers. Hold up, that is so cool. I think this is a bit like washi tape, but like there's 80 pieces in here. I'm assuming they're all the sort of the same. I think they are. So you've got like stripes and spots and happy Halloween. Oh, this key one is really cute. Um, trick or treat. Oh, that's so adorable. And look at the little cat at the bottom. Some more chalkboard stickers. Yes, look at these guys. They're like squishy pumpkins. They are so adorable. Tattoos. Yes, I'm gonna put one of these on right now. Let me finish the stickers and then I'm gonna come back and um, put a cool tattoo on me. What are we thinking? Maybe the ghost? Look at these guys. I love ghost stickers. Like this year, I'm feeling it's the year of ghosts. Like that is, I'm gonna make that, that saying now. This is the year of ghosts. More pumpkins. Look, oh my God, look at the bats at the top. They're so cute. Are they owls? Oh, look at these trick-or-treating owls. They are so adorable. Oh, and the dancing cats. And this is really long one with like, I think these are like the stickers that she'd stuck on the box. Did she like add stuff to the back? Maybe she did, I'm not sure. Um, look how cute these all are. Oh, this one's fancy. And the, I may have to give this one to my friend because she loves owls and I know that she'll love that one. And look at the cat. And then also in here, there's like a, trick-or-treat color sticker 
I think, oh my god, I was so right. Me earlier when I was chatting on about how it looked like you could colour in the stickers, you were like, colour, look at the haunted house, can we just, you like colour it in and then you use them as a sticker. So you could use them black and white if you wanted to. There are so many in here. I thought all of them were the same, but they're really not. So you've got this page, this one. Look how cute that little, I'd love that as a tattoo, that guy. Um, oh, a cat and a pumpkin. God, I love a cat and a pumpkin. <laughs> look at that bat. Some ghosties. Oh my God, look at this guy. Some owls. Oh, I love this tree down here. That is so cute. And I think that may be the last page. Yeah, so like, look, it says you like colour them and then you can stick them all over the place, basically. That is so cute. I think my sticker collection for this year has definitely been replenished. I did think after I did all my Halloween cards and I got loads of stickers, I thought that was like gonna be enough stickers to last me forever and somehow I've nearly run out of them. So now I can add this to my sticker box. I think I'm gonna need a bigger box because I like currently I'm just using this tiny little thin one. I think I'm gonna need a new a new box for storing all these guys in. Bear with me while I just go and give myself a fresh new tattoo. I now have a very cute little ghosty on my arm. I'm very excited by that. Um, so then, next up there is something orange. With bells in, maybe? Oh, look. Can we? <gasps> Can we just? I don't even know what's in here and I'm just so excited already. Not only was I amazed by this, look at the sides of it. That is the coolest box I have ever seen. This is just so cute. I need to like write, oh, I know. A little secret for any of you who haven't been on Instagram. I just got my septum pierced. I've got like a retainer in there because I do. I bought loads of septum jewellery and this, I could put it in this. This could be my septum jewellery box. Okay, let's open it up and see. What? Look at... Oh. Okay, what? Like, where do I start? Where do I look? Inside it has this super cool design and it says spells. Ah, boo, spooky, ghouls, boo, spells. Ah, Halloween, boo, ghouls. Ah, ah, spooky, boo, beware. Ah, spells. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a poem, <laughs> but that is so cute. And then I'm going to take this thing out and then show you the inside because that is the same as well. And then this is what was inside. This is really cute. Is this like a little um, a kind of wreath kind of a thing? Look. Okay, so I think this hangs down like that. It's like got this little kind of circular bit. I thought maybe it was like a bracelet, but I think that may be a bit much for a bracelet. Um, but it's got this like circle bit and then this really cute little bat ribbon on, which is green. And then it has all the little bells at the bottom. I don't know if Kristen made this or bought this, but this is so pretty. And it is kind of like a mini wreath. Do you kind of get what I mean? Unless this is for something else. Like maybe you put your curtains through it. Is that what you do? please tell me someone tell me because um i think it may be like a little wreath i'm probably going to put this on my christmas tree like my halloween christmas tree i feel like it'd be like quite a cool piece to have near the top underneath my little spooky fairy but for now i'll keep it safe in what has to be my favorite halloween box of all time there's like still loads of stuff in here i feel like so bad this literally must have cost you a fortune okay so something squishy Oh, I see the word candy. Skull and bones, fruity hard candy. Oh, this is cute. You guys know I have a sweet tooth. What should we go for? I think they're all sort of similar looking ones with like skulls and bones in. Come back here, skull. To like the little black, like hard candy sweets. Mmm. They're like very sugary and they have like an amazing like fruity little burst. These are going to get very addictive, I can tell you that right now. I can see the word spooky. Can you see that? I'm just dreaming. Um, oh, it looks like it may be metal. Can you see that? <gasps> it's a wall hanging. Oh my goodness. Let me in. Let me in. Why can't I get this off? Let you guys see the full effect before me. That is so cool. Kind of looks like tattoo writing almost. 
it's like metal um and it's on the like it's kind of like i call it garden string i'm not really sure like a hessian string like a little bat coming off here and a little bat flying off there i don't know if this bat's meant to be upside down but i love him being upside down i think he probably is like it looks like he's going woo. Mm. the writing is just so cool here's the little bat down there look how cute this is oh my god i love this i think i'm gonna have to put it on my bedroom door because this is just so gorgeous and on the little thing it says that it's from hobby lobby i think that's kind of like the american version of hobbycraft <laughs> sparkly back sparkly skull okay i can see something that looks like more stickers like i am being so spoiled right now a cat sticker look at this oh my god, i thought they were all cats but there's bats and witches hats cats bats and witches hats <sighs> i'm excited they're like foam stickers these are perfect for like everything like crafting for doll's house for scrapbooks we've got like black cats and purple cats and silver cats and orange cats um some more cats um like witches hats and then we have purple black and gray sparkly bats these are so cool um does it say where they're from crafters square i don't know if that means anything to you guys more stickers to add to my sticker box sparkly skull what is this i can see like bats like through here let me open it are these leggings guys oh my goodness they are literal like they're not like tights these are like literal leggings look at these these are so cute and they're black so they'll go with all my clothes i've got little sparkly silver bats and stars all over them i live in like either pajama trousers or leggings and these are perfect i could probably maybe wear them to the gym but it depends. They feel like super like like soft and snuggly. So they'll probably become more like night, like lounging ones. I'm gonna put them on. They fit me so perfectly. Look how cute these are. And they kind of go with my um, Iron Fist dress as well, which is amazing. <gasps> I love these thank you so much they're so comfy these are definitely becoming my new like lounge leggings because just look at them oh, i want to go out and take photos in them right now okay so then there is something orange in here can't tell what it is from feel <gasps> spiders look at these cute little spooder clips oh my goodness I'm sorry for anyone who has like really bad arachnophobia. These are super realistic. Now, what are these for? Are these for your hair or are they for your Christmas tree? I kind of like black glittery with like little green bottoms and then they're on like a tiny little spring and then it has this kind of like crocodile clip thing. Doesn't quite look like one that will go in your hair, but of course we're gonna try anyway. I'm trying to clip it to my actual hairband because I feel like, does that work? kind of i'm gonna say it works i've got like a bat in on this side so i've got a bat and a spooder i'm ready to rumble i can see the bottom of the box now so we've got like something square looking oh <gasps> is this like it's like um scrapbook paper or like i was gonna say origami paper this is so nice i wish i had like I can probably decorate like some of my doll's hats with this as well. So we've got like this green chandelier one, some zigzags, some spiders and bugs, some cute little owls. I think I may have to use this for my friend's um, birthday card. <gasps> Dancing skeletons. Spots with this kind of like burnt edge and some cute little bats. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Oh. I need to put this part of play somewhere. It's like, I just can't, that's too much. It's just no words. Some spots, which kind of looks a bit like an illusion in my camera screen. Um, and some like florally kind of a design, some music notes, and then back to the beginning again. These are super nice quality, like bits of card as well. So thank you very much. These will go so nicely in my scrapbook, um, but I definitely am gonna have to use that, um, where's it gone? This one, 
within my doll's house somewhere because this just <sighs> this is just everything that I love about Halloween glittery spider I'm gonna have to take this out of my hair <laughs> where can I put him instead maybe here lovely okay so we've got a little one in the corner feels kind of furry <gasps> what is this <gasps> look it's a little cat it's like a does it say where it's from no i think this may be like walmart i don't know i've seen this this tag before and something i've had look it's got little black ears and it's little green eyes tiny little nose and it's super furry as well this is so nice i think i'm gonna put this on my new uni backpack it's got like big bat wings on it so it needs something black catty on there as well um and it does have like a regular um key ring but it does also have one of these like really handy dandy like clippy ones as well and then in the other corner there's this one if this is washi tape i think i'm gonna like pass out oh my god guys <gasps> look at the washi tape <sighs> deep breaths there's this little pack which has spider webs in there and it says happy halloween and then what does that say oh it's like overlap so that would say trick or treat and creepy how cute is that and then there is this one which has like little banners of like different um prints so there's like spider webs um and like little bats and then we have this really cute one i've not seen washi tape like this thin um, as in like you know like in height uh so it's got like tiny little bats all the way around the outside that is so adorable and then there's this one with little arrows around it and then finally, one of the cutest ever is pumpkins. This is going straight in my doll's house. I need to make like a room trim with these pumpkins around the outside. Heart actually hurts. Like I feel like it's been beating way too fast for the last like hour. Very peculiar shape. Ooh, I can see a little skull in there. This is a tiny treasure. <gasps> this is going in my doll's house right now i'm not even gonna wait till the end of the video look at this it's i'm gonna open it i've got to open it and show you i don't know if you're meant to put this on like a cake or something or this is just an ornament but i need it i need it right now look at this fancy skeleton man with his fancy black and red hat my favorite colors and his little cape on and he's got a little spectacle it's got this little kind of bustle cravat thing at the front look how cute this is don't you think this will work perfectly like you know how in like spooky like gothic houses they have i can't think of what they're called where it's like a like a is it a chest it's not called a head it may be a chest it's basically where they have like an engraved face and head and neck um and it's like a thing and this reminds me of that i think this is what it's kind of meant to be it's kind of been given this sort of aged look and this is going straight to my doll's house right this very moment okay so i've got some more something they feel like they may be more stickers maybe i'm wrong but maybe i'm right she did say she got me some stickers but i wasn't quite expecting this amount of stickers um so we've got some little poison bottles again would be great in my crafting these are perfect 3d bat stickers these i'm gonna stick everywhere rather than using the confetti <gasps> oh, guys i think i'm gonna pa <gasps> i'm gonna like pass out look how can we just oh, these are my favorite stickers that we've ever had i have to put this somewhere like this needs to go like somewhere i can see it every single day they're like 3D Halloween sweets. There's a chocolate bar. There's candy corns. Look at these little lollipops. Look at the trick or treat bag. Sorry, I'll hold this off. Look at the trick or treat bag and the sweeties and the little, are they like candy apples? Tiny little candy apples. Oh my God, they're like 3D as well. 
Guys, I'm not okay. I'm so not okay. Someone please send help. And then there are these little spooky ghosty guys. And when I saw them, I was like, I know I've seen them before. And it's because I see them every day because if you look in my background, that way. And you see them stuck on that little O. It's like the Jessica Rabbit Morticia and next to it, they have that O and it has these little ghosty guys on. I always have this like overwhelming urge to like pick off the ghosty guys and stick them on other stuff. But like I couldn't deface that like gorgeous decoration. <sighs> And now I have some to stick around the rest of my house. And then finally there are these and these are gorgeous again. I think I may like put them in my doll's house, like on the wall. Maybe it could be a wall decoration. I think it can definitely, they can definitely be wall decorations. I don't know what I'm talking about. Someone please give me oxygen right now. There's this one that says boo with like skeleton and crossbones. This eek one and they kind of give me like a mandala effect. Um, a spider web. Look at this guy with the pumpkins around it. Um, this one that says scary, I love it because it has these little um, gems coming off. And then this one that says creepy, look how gorgeous these are and they're all like 3D as well. I have been so spoiled, there are so many stickers here for me to choose from. <sighs> you guys, I don't know what to do. I just, my heart, my poor heart. A sparkly skull. Ooh, a little black one of these to go with the orange one. I'm not gonna lie to you, I can see a black cat on a pumpkin over in the corner, but I'm trying not to look at him too hard. Like, I'm, I'm trying to get through this. Um, I'm gonna get to him in a minute, but my heart is not ready yet for him. So this looks like a wooden skull, maybe? Like a sugar skull? <gasps> this is so cute. I actually wanted like some kind of like day of the dead kind of thing because um, it's my friend's birthday coming up and I wanted to make her something and she loves Day of the Dead so I probably will decorate this um, and paint it all and make it look pretty nice and give it to her for her birthday. I think that will be such a perfect present and it's on like a little hangy thing as well and this is made out of like a, I think it's like a plywood um, and all these bits have been like engraved out. This is so gorgeous and it's like massive, like look, it's like definitely bigger than life size. Okay, I can see something else. It feels quite hard. Can you see a crow or like a raven? The black, the back is black, so I can't really tell. Oh, look how cute that is. That is gorgeous. It says, happy Halloween. It has like a little raven on a skull. And I love this skull. It's like a really nice, like realistic looking one. And there's black glitter around it, but not too much glitter, because you guys know too much glitter can be fatal. Um, but this is the perfect amount of glitter. I love how she says too much glitter can be fatal as she like covers her eyes in glitter, gets it glitter in her eyeballs on a daily basis. Anyway, so <laughs> back to this. Um, and it's got this little hangy thing, or you could take it from the front and hang it like that. Um, this is so cute. I think I'm gonna put this on my door as well. Um, it's just so spooky. I'm gonna try really hard to take the bottom thing out and leave the black cat thing over there. It's big and it's green. Ooh, and there's a ghost in here. I love these ghosty notes. Oh, okay, so Handy, she's given us like a little list of where she bought all this stuff, just because I have literally no idea. But she says that they're from various stores in Michigan. Um, so here's like her little list. So there's Hobby, there's Hobby Lobby, Joanne, Crafts, Michaels, Dollar Tree, Walmart, and a couple of things from thrift stores. And she purchased them all in September and October 2017. As I said, she had, um, I think she moved house, she said. So she like had this stuff like waiting. I have to just keep these little ghost notes. They are just too cute for it. I just can't, they're just too cute. Okay, so <gasps> these are like massive stickers. Yes, look at these. They're like so big, it doesn't even fit in the camera. So we've got, they're called window clings. Um, funny story, I actually have like various things stuck on my windows from stuff people have sent me. No pumpkin patch. So like this is what my window looks like currently. Um, and the kind of big stickers have been fine. But if you can see up there, like there's this like yellow blob. Basically that was a star, but it was so hot in the UK that it melted. So um, the little, um, pumpkin guy I think I got him from October 31st and I think I got that start either from like October 31st as well as like an added gift or it came in one of my Halloween cards but basically it looks like a gummy sweet and it feels like a gummy sweet and it just completely melted down my window 
But basically, these are like, I can just stab myself in the neck. These are like stickers, so they're not gonna like melt, which is very handy. Um, so we've got like a like a coffin one, a witch, a Frankenstein, a cat, a little trick or treating ghost, a bat, and some like candy corns, and a Dracula, and the cutest little skeleton ever making a little witch's brew. And then, oh, these, these are so cute. Again, I may have to like lend one of these to my friend. Look at them, they're like little sugar skulls. So this one is like very like classic sugar skulls. Um, they're a little bit glittery as well. And actually, um, are all these stickers as well? They're like little like flower stickers in the background. And then Halloween sugar skulls, I love this one. Um, this one is super cute. But this guy down here definitely has to be my favorite with his cute little pumpkin hair. So there's like two more things left in here. Um, something in there's a like bag and then there's a cat pumpkin thing <sighs> i'm just gonna leave the cat pumpkin thing i'm still not ready for it i'm still not mentally prepared for it yet um so this says a bonus on it here are some miniatures from my collection some are charms and beads but you can use them in your doll's house if you if they work maybe a bat swooping in on a fishing line Yes! If you prefer to save some for jewelry making, then that's great too. I made the crystal ball. <gasps> I'm so excited. I like, I haven't seen really what's in here. I've just read like the note. Um, but basically I've wanted a crystal ball for ages for my house. Um, I did try and make one, but it didn't come out great because I wanted to get those bead. They're like these metal bits that go around beads like this. And I wanted to get those and then glue them like that and make it into like a, a witch's ball, but I just haven't got around to it. So, <gasps> look at these, they're so cute. So there's like this gorgeous little witch's broom. I have got one witch's broom, but this one seems to be so much nicer and more detailed. A little raven skull, which is gonna go really nicely on one of my shelves. Yay, the little bat which I can put string through and have him like hanging around. A little skull. I actually had one of these skulls which I stuck on one of my fireplaces so I may stick this like on the other side. This cute like little decorative like pendant thing. <gasps> A pumpkin button. And it is like see-through, like you can see through the eyes. I think this is meant to be like a little bell. Either that or a toilet plunger. Look the little witch's ball. This is exactly how I wanted one. Like I wanted to make it like this. I think she's done the thing that I was saying I wanted to do. And it's such a gorgeous little ball as well. I think she's used like a bead or something, but it's like really like glistening inside. That is so pretty. I need to find somewhere, pride of place to put this in my doll's house. Probably put it in the master bedroom or maybe in the formal sitting room. Oh, so thank you very much for those you guys I've been so spoiled and I've got one more thing. <sighs> my car, my heart, it just wasn't ready for this. Look, it's a cat on a pumpkin <gasps> and it's a brooch so I can wear it. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it on my uni bag because I need to see this every single day of my life. So when I'm in like a really boring lecture, I can look over and see this cute little guy smiling up at me with his pumpkin. And it will just make my day so much better. So he's this cute little black cat um, and then the spider is being held over here and he's just chilling on the pumpkin and it's such a happy looking pumpkin and I think this is like a resin or like a plastic um, and then it has like a little little brooch in the back. This is so adorable. <sighs> my poor heart. I just can't deal with it. I just can't deal with the cuteness. Look at his little nose. That was everything that was in this box. I'm feeling incredibly overwhelmed. I'm sitting in a puddle of craft stuff and doll's house stuff. I'm wearing the spookiest of leggings. I just feel <sighs> like it's Halloween. I feel like this was the perfect introduction to the Halloween season. As you guys know, Halloween stuff is starting to come into the UK stores. Halloween Doll's House is starting to look spookier. Just this morning, I saw leaves coming down from the trees. We're there, guys. It's been long awaited. But Halloween season is now fully in swing. So like a massive, massive, like I can't even put into words, thank you to Kristen for this box. This was so, so sweet of you. I have now have like crafting fuel to last me for at least 
another year <laughs> so excited to use it like in lots of different places as i said lots of it will work really well in my doll's house but then also in my scrapbook i just feel so overwhelmed right now just i can i can never get over you guys's generosity it just <sighs> makes my heart hurt you guys are gonna give me an early death again a massive massive thank you to Kristen and a big thank you to you guys for watching i hope this video wasn't too long but at the same time it was full of spooks so i don't think you guys are going to care too much so thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions comments please leave them down below if it's anywhere you are i hope you enjoy the shade and i'll see you next time bye